It's Thyroid Cancer Awareness Month, and expert evaluation and diagnosis is critical for the highest cure rates for patients. Joining us now from Tampa's New Hospital for Endocrine Surgery is thyroid surgeon Dr. Rashmi Roy. Doctor, welcome to Bloom. Thank you so much for having me, Gail. Well, this is such an important subject, and I, I first wanted to ask you, how common is thyroid cancer, and who can get it? So thyroid cancer is becoming more and more common. In fact, the incidence for thyroid cancer has almost doubled since the 1970s, making it the fastest growing cancer in the United States. So <clears throat> is there a link between thyroid cancer and just thyroid hormone disorder? So it's a great question. Um, so I get this question a lot from my patients and they say, Dr. Roy, how can I have thyroid cancer when I check my thyroid hormone levels and they're normal? I'm not on any medication. The fact of the matter is that thyroid hormone dysfunction and thyroid cancer are two completely different things. Oh. And for the most part, thyroid cancer patients have normal thyroid function. So they're treated differently. So for the most part, when we're talking about thyroid hormone dysfunction, we're talking about low thyroid or hypothyroidism that's treated medically. And when we're talking about thyroid cancer or thyroid nodules, that's treated surgically. Any indication as to why these numbers when it comes to thyroid cancer are kind of going through the roof? So yeah, I mean, for the most part, that answer is really twofold. Um, and the main reason is that we're using more and more diagnostic imaging. And the second is that physicians are actually more attuned to thyroid cancer. So we're getting more and more CAT scans and carotid ultrasounds. That's finding nodules on the thyroid incidentally. That's prompting a dedicated thyroid ultrasound and biopsy. And physicians, since they're more attuned to thyroid cancer, they're feeling patients' neck more, and they're finding more lumps and bumps, and then again, getting a dedicated thyroid ultrasound and biopsy, and then bi diagnosing the cancer. All right, uh, also very interesting, you know, a lot of women out there watching right now, we are always told to do a breast evaluation and to check ourselves to see if we have any lumps or anything that doesn't seem right when it comes to breast cancer. Come to find out, and I didn't realize this, the same holds true when it comes to thyroid cancer. There's a screening that you you can do at home. I've never yeah. heard of this before. So how do we check ourselves for mm -hmm. nodules? So it's really easy and it's really important. Just like you said, you know, this could be the first critical step in diagnosing your cancer and curing it early. So what you want to do is you want to feel for your thyroid, right? So where's your thyroid? Yeah, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> so your thyroid sits right above your collarbone, right in the middle of your neck. So you just kind of feel a little lower down, yep. So you just kind of feel this area for any lumps or bumps. Okay. And then the next thing you want to look at is the lymph nodes in your neck because thyroid cancer spreads to the lymph nodes in your neck from underneath your ear down to your collarbone. Okay. So you want to feel all this area. So again, the middle portion and then all this area for any lumps or bumps. And if you find any lumps or bumps, you, the first step is getting an ultrasound and then a biopsy and that could be your diagnosis. So when I go to my doctor and they, they feel around my neck, that's what they're that's doing? That's what they're doing. And more and more physicians are doing it, especially for women. OBGYNs are doing it more yeah. and more often. So okay. I hear that all the time. All right, this is such valuable information for your health. Um, we're going to you know, keep this conversation going because Dr. Royal just completed a free screening with a number of women. And we're going to share the results with you. They're shocking. We'll be right back after the break. And we're back. And if you're just now tuning in, this is Dr. Roy. She joined us earlier to talk to us about how common thyroid cancer is. And she's also discussing if there's a link between thyroid hormone, which a lot of us experience, like myself, or thyroid cancer. So, Dr. Roy, uh, for those just tuning in, you say the numbers of thyroid cancer are the fastest growing in the nation right now. Mm hmm. That's true. Um, so really what we've found is that it has more than doubled since the 1970s, so making it the fastest growing cancer. And the reason why we think that's happening is because we're doing more diagnostic imaging and physicians are more attuned to thyroid cancer and feeling patients' neck more often, and then therefore they're getting more thyroid ultrasounds and biopsies. Um, and and, and at-home self-checks are incredibly important, you know, feeling around your neck area, feeling around the nodes that come back from your ear down your neck. Like, you should be examining yourself um, just like you would a breast self-examination. And um, you actually did a free screening out at Innisbrook not long ago, mm -hmm. and you say the results were just mind-blowing. 
They really were. Um, I wasn't expecting to see the results that we did. So we basically screened women that had no history of thyroid nodules or thyroid disease just to see if they had anything that needed further evaluation. And 49% of them had abnormal findings. Of those women, we a smaller half of those need, ha, needed actual further evaluation with a biopsy, and five women actually had thyroid cancer. That's incredible. How many women attended the screening? So 63 women attended the screening. Mm -hmm. uh, 40 women um, had an ultrasound performed. 23 of them had abnormal findings and then five of them needed surgery. All right, so let's talk, I know you're from a Tampa's new hospital for endocrine surgery, which is the first of its kind in the nation. Why would somebody even need to go to a facility like that? Yeah, so we are the first of its kind, and the reason why we designed this place is to be essentially a one-stop thyroid cancer shop. So a patient is getting evaluated, diagnosed, and cured of their thyroid cancer in a single day. Um, so that doesn't happen anywhere else in the country. So a patient comes in and they're taken for their expert evaluation, which, which starts with a high-resolution ultrasound. If anything is found that's abnormal, they're, bi they're ultrasounded and biopsied right then and there. We have a pathologist there that gives their biopsy results in 20 minutes. Mm. And then they meet with one of us, the surgeons. We come up with their surgical plan. They're taken to the operating room. They're cured of their cancer and in their hotel room that same day. That's incredible. And the survival rate, I mean, with the proper care and the, the, and the follow-up, mm -hmm. if you are diagnosed with thyroid cancer and you are able to treat it immediately and get the proper care, I mean, do you have a good chance at life? Absolutely. So thyroid cancer has a great prognosis. The overall survival rate is 98% for thyroid cancer. Um, but really, the critical step is finding it early, expert evaluation, expert diagnosis, and expert surgical care. All right, Dr. Roy, it's been such a pleasure to meet you. I really appreciate you coming on Bloom. And when you have uh, future free screenings, will you let us know so we can Absolutely. get the word out? Yeah. yeah. We'd that love would to be amazing. Okay, awesome. Absolutely. Thank you so much.